Peace. This is a meat and potato sourcing production star and myself, the Warrior Alchemist. And today's topic for the occult family is Who is Malik Taos? Malik Taos is the peacock angel amongst the Yazidis who were from the Middle East. And they were viewed as those who were worshippers of the devil. And they had the so called gods that were not to be called upon which are the devas or demons who don't take physical form, but their energies slash elementals. So one thing about it is that basically for the Yazidis to keep practicing their form of the arcane, they had to mesh it with Sufism, which is the mystical aspects of Al-Islam. And there's a good book about that. It's very hard to get, but I had it by Peter Lamborn Wilson that talks about the Sufis as well as the Prophet Noble Ali. And the name of that text is The Sacred Drift, which came out in 1993. And your mentor was an idiot back then because I loaned the book out to someone from the Morris Science Temple. Never saw him or the book again, but I digress. So... For those that don't know, a little history lesson. So the Yazidis were forced to merge, of course, with Islam because Islam made its way over there in the 7th century. And dealing with the peacock angel goes all the way back to the 11th century. But once Islam really got some traction, that became complicated. Because one thing about the history of Islam Islam doesn't doesn't mean peace, okay? Not historically anyway. So I know what Muslims try to say, oh, it means peace or submission to Allah. Uh-huh, okay, that's fine. So if you ever want a reality check about Islam, you can read The Black Nile and His Family by Dr. Ben. And he tells you really how Islam is really cut. And right, there's also today on foreignpolicy.com, they talk about Basically this, either convert to Islam or die. Women are getting sexually assaulted and men who won't submit to Islam, they're getting taken out. And that's going on today. So all this kinder, gentler Islam, don't go for it. Because I know some Sunni Muslim tried to justify slavery. Oh, it was indentured servitude and the Islam that we had wasn't. You know, it wasn't like the slavery that the Judeo-Christians had engaged in. Sound like a deranged lunatic. Show me a good form of slavery. Slavery is slavery. And for him to even try and justify it, I summarily dismissed him. But back to Malik Taos. Now, I'm going to make a whole lot of charges bad about this. Because Malik Taos, and there's passionate discussion in the occult community about this because some people feel that Malik Taos is one of the aspects of Lucifer. Others feel like he's totally separate. I can only speak for my gnosis and my channeling when I asked Lucifer. And Lucifer said, yes, that is another aspect of myself as well as Azazel. So I'm just going by what Lucifer said. But wait, there's more. The Yazidis hand down occultism orally because they know that any text they may write down, that can be problematic. And I just stated why. But orally, it is said that God or around that time, who's a Urhua Mazda, the Zoroastrianism, he left to another universe and Malik Taos slash Lucifer was redeemed. So what am I saying here, Trogs? I'm saying that Malik Taos, the peacock angel, is the lord of this planet, of earth, with the blessings of God. Let that sink in. So that is who Malik Taos is, the lord of this earth, of this planet other aspect of Lucifer and Azazel. And for more, you can go get the book by the aforementioned author, 
Peter Lambord Wilson, the Peacock Angel, and the Esoteric Tradition of the Yazidis off of Amazon. So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.